CBS News has learned U.S. officials are now confident that al-Qaeda's chief bomb maker is dead, killed in an American drone strike in Yemen last year. David Martin tells us more about the man who built devices that could have killed many Americans. After Osama bin Laden was killed, Ibrahim al-Asiri might well have been the single most dangerous terrorist in the world. Probably the most sophisticated terrorist bomb maker on the planet, incredibly creative, incredibly innovative. Asiri designed the underwear bomb, which nearly took down a U.S. airliner over Detroit on Christmas Day 2009. No one was killed, but only because the young man wearing the bomb failed to detonate it properly. One year later, the Saudi-born Assyri nearly pulled off another audacious attack, hiding explosive devices in printer cartridges being shipped on cargo planes to the U.S. The devices got through airport security in London and were only discovered because of a last-minute tip. More recently, he was believed to be working on a bomb that could be hidden in a laptop computer or mobile device, prompting TSA to ban such items on some flights to the U.S. A good chunk of, of what you have to take out of your bag um, and what has to be screened is because of a Siri and his capabilities of putting explosives in very difficult to find places. The drone strike, which the U.S. believes killed a Siri, took place last year in Yemen. But his death does not end the threat since he taught his bomb making skills to other terrorists. Jeff? Worth noting, David Martin, thank you.